Welcome to Counting the Cards of Wall Street Part 3. For those of you that have already watched Part 1 and Part 2, this workshop will touch on many of the same areas. However, we're going to examine some newer moving averages, levels, scaling techniques, and I'm going to be showing you two totally different kinds of corrections. How many of you read Barron's on a regular basis? It's a highly regarded financial newspaper, right? Here's the cover of Barron's newspaper on September 8th, 2014. How do we know when the market is topped out? Well, when everybody's in the boat and the bull is in the captain's seat smoking a pipe while the bear is growling. Note that the cat what the caption says underneath this, right? Stocks will head higher despite headwinds from rising rates. Middle East turmoil and brickmanship in Ukraine, so say our 10 market watchers. The most bullish of the group sees shares moving up 25% in the next two years and why everyone loves tech. It doesn't say, will stocks head higher, as in a question. It makes that statement that yes, stocks will head higher. Now the market never corrects when everybody expects it to and it never goes up when everybody expects it to. When we are most fearful is when we should be buying and when we are the greediest, we should be selling. So seeing this cover definitely gave me the heads up that greed was here. But what other signals do we need to see before we start selling out our entire investment portfolio or putting protection on? Prints, right? We need to see big, huge, sell prints at the top and that's exactly what we saw starting on September 9th. However, I spotted the first sell prints in the emerging markets. Check these out. On September 9th, I started to spot some big sell prints come across my block trade indicator on VWO at $45.59. VWO is the Vanguard Emerging Markets ETF. Also, note the huge sell print on ANR, 2.5 million shares at 347. That's another big sell print on this coal stock. Now, a few hours later at 1.25 p.m., I spotted a 4.5 million print on EEM, the iShares Emerging Markets ETF and that's when I started tweeting. The 4 EMA is what we call the express train. This moving average has a higher velocity and a stronger momentum than the 8 EMA. Take a look at them side by side on this next chart of Caterpillar. The 8 EMA is in black and the 4 EMA is in pink. Now you can see Caterpillar likes to ride on the express train, the 4 EMA up and down the track. Now, I like to enter the first day it closes above it. Now you can ride it <laughs> all the way up, getting out when it closes below it. You can also short Caterpillar when it closes below it and ride it all the way down. Now note that when the 4 EMA crosses over the 8 EMA and goes above it, that's the spot that triggers the upward momentum change. And when it crosses at the top of this rally, it'll signal a downward momentum change. Now let's look at another chart 